Hello and thanks for joining me. The verses I'd like us to look at today are from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, in verses 13 and 14. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, be, 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 then do. Do everything in love. In my first year of Nightline back in 1981, I had a guest in the studio talking about the journey with cancer. And a lady rang in who was on that journey. She would never give us her name or the hospital she was in. No contact. The only contact she wanted was over the phone. And from time to time over the next few weeks, she rang us. One night, my producer arranged for me to have five minutes off the air to say goodbye. She had run to say this would be the last time she'd be able to speak to us. Well, as you can imagine, I, uh, I was stressed and asking God for help. What do you say in that situation? And as I listened to her, it became obvious that aspects of her life were weighing on her heart. And uh, a thing came to me that I've used many times, a D.L. Moody illustration. I said to her, do you have a book there? And she did. I said, well, let one of your hands be you and, and let that book be all the things from your past that are bothering you. And then let your other hand be Jesus. The Bible tells us that God laid all of that stuff that's on you on him. So she had a book, she had it in one hand, she changed it over to the other hand and I said to her, so what's left on you? And she said, well, nothing. The program went on and that night when I was driving home, I could still take you to the very spot on the road. I suddenly thought, oh my goodness, I didn't lead her in the sinner's prayer. I didn't get her to ask Jesus into her heart. I didn't sleep very much that night. And next morning I rang Neil Adcock, who began the program, an older and wiser person than me. And he said to me, Graham, number one, Paul didn't say the sinner's prayer. Number two, I believe you acted, you had the courage to act in love for what as best you could hear God wanted you to say. He said, let's say you did miss something. Do you think God would love that lady so little that he would allow her to miss out because you blew it? And a huge load lifted off as he said those words to me. In fact, I'd spent the night thinking that my life must be this huge disappointment to God. And I often feel like that. I wonder if you do. And Brandon Manning points out, when we feel that our lives are a disappointment to God, it requires what he calls enormous trust and reckless confidence to really accept that Jesus' love is never changing. There is no shadow or changeability in it. Paul Tillich is one of the most influential theologians of the 20th century. And he talked about the times when despair has destroyed your courage. And he said, at those times, it can be as though a light, a wave of light breaks in, as though a voice says to you, you are accepted. See, for that lady, for me, once that call was over, I couldn't will anything, couldn't search anything. I couldn't perform anything, neither could she. But somehow she discovered that she was accepted. And he says, at that moment, that's when you experience grace. Some weeks later, the phone rang again. My producer answered it and then came into the studio. He was a, happened to be a Christian, this particular producer. Came in bounding like a kangaroo saying, all power, all power. Of course, referring to Jesus saying, all power is given to me in heaven and on earth. And then he said, we just had a phone call from someone who was in the same two-bed ward as that lady. And she asked them to be sure to tell us that she knew where she was going. I pray that you will have the reckless confidence to understand that if your sin is repented of, confess to him that you are accepted. And being accepted that you will then have the courage to act that love out, to be a channel of that love in your special way. Paul, writing to the Galatians who were getting tangled up with all sort of religious exercises, said to them, the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. May you have the courage to accept that you're accepted 
the courage to make that phone call, to let that other person in the line go first, to have that conversation, to invite that person. All those supernatural things that are just so naturally done when his love flows through us. And may it flow through you. And thanks for joining us.